Hi everyone, I'm Martin and welcome to another great edition of Astronomy for Beginners and today I'm going to do a, a reviewing guide on the fire cell. Now, over the years I've bought a lot of cool accessories and you need certain aids that will help you enjoy astronomy and I've come across this, this fire cell and it really is a cool device. Uh, I've bought a lot of things and I've used this more often. Uh, you can get this from a lot of good astronomy shops, particularly Tring Astronomy or Rover Valley Optics or Alto Astro. There are, you can get this for around about 17 to about 19, just under 20 pounds, which I think is worth the money. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look on this fire cell and you get to see uh, what it contains and what are the things I'm going to highlight all the specifications of this cool product. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a closer look. So here we have the, the fire cell box. It's designed by Lestron and basically what this cool device does it is a red torch. Now a red LED torch and the reason why we use a red LED torch is to save our night vision whilst you're using your telescope and an equipment for astronomy and basically you don't want to ruin your night sight because once you get your eyes adapted within the dark within 20 to 30 minutes you want to save your eyesight particularly when you want to view deep sky objects like galaxy or faint nebula you need to save uh, your night vision so that you can see uh, these objects clearly if you lose if you use white light you will lose your vision and you won't see anything out of it so that's why a red torch is very important to use for astronomy this is a very unique led torch with a difference and basically it is a, uh, it does this normal operation as we open the box itself as you can see it's a very compact design and as you see it's a four LED uh, torch so and the good thing about LEDs is they don't uh, blow out they last a very long time so basically this is a sealed unit uh, and very compact it's what you want it comes with its instruction packages, uh, we don't want to go over that. And basically you have a USB cable with a, an adapter to connect to an iPod and to a, a mobile phone adaption. And it does have a small little case where you can put your torch in. Now, the good thing about this, it is a self-contained a lithium battery with a two point which, which is a 2500 milliamps so you've got plenty of charge on this battery so in other words you can have extensive use with using the LEDs as you see it's very bright if you press that button there there's a light switch and you can press that for intermittent so again it's very bright it's a very bright torch but it's not bright enough to ruin your vision I like how it has a battery uh, indicator level to see how discharged the battery is and believe it or not this as well as being a, a torch you can use it to charge up your iPad or mobile phone it gives out around about 5 volts and 500 milliamps of uh, output charge so it's enough power for your mobile phone or your iPad so it's good for that also I like how you can charge the unit itself via its cable you can actually charge it through your computer or any other uh, adaption but ideally through your computer and it will charge the battery that way the one smart thing about this as well is it has a, a hand warmer so basically on, these, on this button on this side here, you can 
if you press that button once, this is on charge mode, you don't want that. If we press it again, we will have a hand warmer. So basically, uh, this unit, these heat pads here on either side will warm your hands. Now if you put it on number one setting, this will warm your hands to about a good two and a half hours of use. You know, it gives a, a gentle warm through the heat there, heat sink there, and you can feel it's getting warm. Very handy to have, particularly for the cold nights. And if you put it on the highest setting, which is the hottest setting, you'll get around a charge, you'll get around uh, the use around about two, maybe one and a half hours. So it's very handy. And, and again, whilst that's still using, you can actually still use the torch in the process as well. But bear in mind, when you use a warm hand warm setting, it will uh, reduce the battery power, battery life a bit. So regular charge, you, uh, charging it via the USB uh, port will help to keep it charged up. So there you go. You know, you switch it off and again, touching that heat pad there, it gives out around about, it's quite warm, about 20 to 30 uh, degrees warm. So it's quite hot and uh, very handy uh, torch. And for the price, 17, 19 pounds, I think it really is a good buy. To be honest with you, I've bought a lot of things, but this one has been dual purpose. It does a lot of things. I think it's worth the money. And believe it or not, I've actually used this more than my head torch. So despite it not being a hands-free sort of uh, uh, an observing aid, it's actually, I've used it more because it's so compact and it's just beautiful. So again, I hope you uh, find this uh, product review interesting. I certainly have. And believe me, get this. It, it is worth the money. And believe me, once you've got it, it's probably more, it is a, a decent buy. And uh, it's better than just a normal red torch because it does have ex other properties as well as just its sole purpose. So again, thanks for watching and clear skies to you all.